Imagine a world full of peace. Trees like this. Everything just perfect. Now imagine everything terrifying, constantly on the edge of death, facing things from your worst nightmares. Welcome to Better Minecraft. That's where I'm gonna be surviving for these next 100 days. Great place, yeah? Just to let you know ahead of time, when this thing pops up, I did not know. I didn't know, that's all I gotta tell you. Throughout these 100 days, I'm gonna explore every inch of this place and take down every boss I find. You know what? I'm not even gonna say anything more. All I gotta say is, enjoy the video. Day one, I was expecting to spawn into something crazy, but this was just a regular forest. I walked a little bit and saw some doggos chilling, so I said what's up to them. Before crafting the wood tools and then the stone ones, all that stuff, then I said hello to this dude over here. The, the axe just slipped, totally, totally slipped. In better Minecraft, turns out you could just break down whole trees with a little swing like this. So that saved a ton of time. I was looking for stuff, so I looked around in the distance to see if there was anything and saw a roof. You know, a building in better Minecraft, this early usually means you basically dead but i made my way over to it anyway because we're just built different like that i guess can we just admire how nice this looks underwater look at this that is beauty there was this abandoned area in the middle of a swamp for whatever reason you know i don't know and it had some wheat so i for free wheat i guess i was trying to do some parkour on these lily pads and then stumbled upon the building this thing looked like something straight out of a nintendo world as you can see until i got up to it and it sounded like this Okay, we're going in. Bro, why is this dude literally like out? Like, actually, what is this? I was chased out of there, and so I totally had this genius idea to sneak in from the top. Where I then crafted an axe to take out whatever these things were. Operation Exterminate, uh, these has commenced. And I took all of them out, but these things actually had gains, I'm telling you. Okay, what do we get? From the chest, I got an Eye of Ender, but it, bro, it, bro, it was day one. I was not trying to beat the Ender Dragon right now. Back to looting this place, I got bread, all types of like food, iron, and got an enchanted iron sword with smite. I explored farther down here and came across another room filled with these things. Just They were just waiting for me. I was not about that. It was time for some big brain moves. I insulted them saying Chick-fil-A was better. So they they followed me up this ladder and we threw some hands. Now I could make my way back down and destroyed their home. I explored around uh, looting and taking their ankles and finished the day with a whole army chasing me out. I'd say all in all day one was a success. I saw a sheep and turned it into a bed. Yo, this place is a W. It's a, it's a W. Found some horses. I was exploring around and found a house and a village. Inside was this gatekeeper dude that was selling a zeal lighter and a blue journal, which were both things that I needed. But right now I was kind of broke. Basically, this journal told me that there's other dimensions and pretty much you aren't alone in this vast universe. I was a man of exploration, so I was going to find a way to get to these dimensions. I don't care if I have to travel to the ends of the earth, bruh, the portal to another dimension is literally in this dude's closet. I needed the zeal lighter to enter, which meant I needed emeralds, so I went around raiding the village of everything I could. I copped a ton of iron and made some weapons and armor, but was still broke with no emeralds. I found a chest with a map in it, and the next thing I knew, a thousand villagers showed up out of nowhere. Y'all want me to explore this place? I, I take that as a yes. The next day, I was gonna start my adventure to this illager campsite, and I'm gonna be honest, I had no idea what I was even walking to it just sounded cool and yeah that that's that right there is an alligator should I hit the alligator I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the alligator I hadn't even left the village and I was already almost dying I fell asleep in a swamp and let me just say like giving someone like me a map was a very bad idea I spent the day walking in the wrong direction somehow but that led me to meet Sheldon here this village they were dripped out I look at this man right here they literally had an army going on I did the normal village raiding then lost myself in the forest. Can we take a moment, another moment to just check out this nice forest? Look, look at this place. I came across an abandoned hut with absolutely nothing in it, but right after that, I ran into this thing. I'm gonna be honest, that, that looks a little intimidating. I felt like I was on level one, trying to take down the final mafia boss here, but I had an idea. I'm gonna turn this into the biggest campfire you've ever seen. If there was something here, it was gone by now. I went to climb up, but was literally shot by nothing. These cowards, or whatever you want to call them, were invisible. I made quick work of them. 
made some torches and luckily the chests didn't burn so i was able to loot basically everything okay not gonna lie the loot was kind of trash it was it was trash but i did get another map that leads to some mining place out in the middle of ohio i don't know for some reason the snow was causing me to literally have like two frames per second which made me almost die to absolutely nothing but luckily i just slept it off and disappeared i continued through the forest and these purple plants were annoying me they just slowed me down every time i touched them after some more walking i found this random house and thought it was abandoned but no why why are you laughing at a man, the man with the sword that is the last thing you do the next day i woke up to a purple dude trying to ruin my adventure and this morning i just walked along the coast which led me to becoming friends with a raccoon this dude was just vibing out here in the wilderness and i carried on and climbed up some mountains got some coal and then I came across this sick looking oasis. Like, is this even Minecraft anymore? For real, what is this? Apparently it wasn't because right off the coast from me were pirate ships. So you know what I did? I called up my homie Jack Sparrow and sailed over there and just started a fire. Yo, ho, ho, it's a pirate's life for me, bruh. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> we are having some good campfires, aren't we? Yeah, we definitely were because that ship was already in flames. I tried looting it while it was burning, but got shot a few times. All right, if that's how you want to play this, that this is what's going to happen. Oh, another ship. Would you look at that? I spotted another ship and you know what I did with that ship? Yeah, that's what happened to that ship. And then these dudes were just trying to drown me from underwater somehow and they were very slow, so that did not work. I visited what was left of the ships and these things were somehow still alive shooting me. I was not taking these things on at night, so I found some rest at a nearby island. Today, it was time to see what was left of the ships. I just snuck up right behind this guy without him noticing. His two friends were over there just watching as I looted the chests. I found some enchanted armor. I also found some gunpowder and TNT. There was enough food in these barrels to feed Donkey Kong, but the other chest actually had the good stuff I was looking for. I was feeling confident, and I visited this skeleton ship. Big mistake. Should not have done that. I looted the first couple chests, getting some TNT and just getting hit a bunch. Bro, this skeleton is so annoying. What are you doing? It hit me with the one suit Mayweather, and I finally took it out, looting the rest of the ship. And now there is only one ship left out here to salvage from. The loot is pretty good from the ships. Onward I went, traveling across the seas, and over the the land the seagull will lead us to victory okay not not another one of those the seagull led me right to the invisible people's house i really didn't want to spend my night going to war after fighting blackbeard's whole crew basically so i decided to just leave him with a little surprise and kept on traveling in my boat yo are those palm trees I think we're getting closer to the destination i rode off into the sunset listening to this at 2 a.m i actually had peace for a moment until i reached the land at this dead place the next day, I turned my head and saw this. Yo, okay. <sighs> What in the world am I looking at right now? I sat there eating some raw food, contemplating everything. Like, what am I getting ready to go into? What am I looking at right there? I rode the boat in a circle and, and had a whale pull up right next to me, which didn't make me feel any better. All right, you know what? We're going in. That That is a floating pirate ship. I walked up to it and this place was something out of a Disney movie. It just looked crazy. Everything was peaceful until I heard fireworks. Turns out this place was ran by pillagers and I wasn't strong enough to take I'm on yet, so I went down this ravine and cooked up some food so I could heal up. Then I decided to check out the challenges, and turns out I completed one which gave me this animal encyclopedia thing, and another gave me some portal blocks. For the next challenge, I had to craft some light and dark block, but I needed some cold deep stone. After healing up, I crafted the diamond tools for the first time and went to sleep. The next day, I charged back and got attacked by a bush, but I broke through the wall, and this place was a massive dungeon. I was definitely not ready for that, but I ended up stumbling into a pillager house and got caught in this mess. Okay, yeah, I'm out. I I'm not sticking around here. Psych, you best know I charged in there, which turned out to be a bad idea. 
I decided to cut my losses and continued following this piece of paper more, and this place would just have to be saved for later. I made a boat and left out to sea. I came across this island that looked crazy, so I definitely checked it out. The sun was starting to set, and I came across a tribe of chimpanzees. But you know what happened? The dang chimpanzee stole my axe. This dude just took my axe, bro. Then they started throwing it around, and was clearly not gonna give it back. And on top of that, out of all times, a blood moon started started rising on me. I thought if I hit it, it would throw me the axe or drop it, but you know, that was a huge mistake. Guys, I think I made them a little angry. Bruh, they're onto me. Never thought this would happen in my first blood moon. I just wanted my axe back and nope, I am, I'm not coming back on this island ever again. That experience was pretty much the embodiment of better Minecraft and I was slowly getting closer to the X on the map and it started raining on me and I finally caught a break. I forgot about my boats and just swam around here for the night. Eventually the blood moon set and I just kept swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep it, bro. Until eventually, I found an underwater temple. The chests were all right, but nothing too crazy, to be honest. So I left out of there and ended up reaching the shore at a new island. This place had like some crazy building thing on it. So I went in to check it out where I was greeted by some fancy skeleton dudes. Then some mining zombies. As you can tell, these things had a ton of health. I explored some more to see if I could find some stuff and I was hoping this would be like a Caribbean island but it turned out to be like an island of the dead so that not good. All I found were some dripped out zombies and skeletons at every corner basically. Since I didn't find anything and it was getting late I decided to get some sleep and just head out the next day. This morning of day 11, I crafted a diamond axe and headed off on my boat. You don't see that every day. A massive floating pirate ship, just chilling. But more importantly, I reached the X on the map. The pillager camp, bruh. This man really broke my boat. And is that an, yeah, that, that is an alligator. I am out of here. Turns out I really underestimated how much pillagers would actually be here. I ran from them because like, let's face it, I was gonna be dead if I tried to take that on. And you know what this meant? Strategy. It was time to build a base. I took a good look around and found this area that just looked nice. Like, look at all, look at that cool tree right there. I started leveling this place out and was thinking it was probably a bad idea to make a base near a pillager camp, but the decision was already in motion, so there's no going back. I crafted a chest and put everything in there so I could just focus on building. I leveled it out, placed some dirt, Hey, we got our first visitor over here. Well, that, that did not last long. I really didn't want to get swarmed by zombies all night, so I placed torches everywhere around here and worked on creating a stairway. It's day 12, and building a base next to the pillager camp, it, it's looking like a bad decision. I just moved in and the neighbors already hate me. Hitting the dirt with a shovel got boring to me, so I decided to just blow it up. As you can tell, this this is where I was starting to lose my sanity. The dirt was starting to look like steps and I expanded the base a bit more. I made some furnaces and put cobblestone in there because I wanted to make stone bricks. I said hi to the neighbors and burnt down this tree as a warning. Yeah, that's right, bro. You better, better back away. A zombie villager pulled up, so I built a dirt house totally not a prison. I didn't have a name tag, so I was just hoping it didn't despawn on me. I spent the night and the entirety of the next day building the stairs again before this crazy dude just chased me down with an ax. I couldn't even chill in my own home out here, literally. I, I had to eat maggots to survive too. And since I didn't have a bed, I decided to be productive and spent the night mining. And then this goblin just showed up out of thin air. He kept asking me for like $20 or something. And I was like, nah, bro, I'm broke. Sorry. And on the next day, I returned to the surface. The pillagers were actually gone finally. And today I decided to go out and explore. I was hoping that I'd find the dude that has the portals in his garage or whatever. So I could check it out. And can we just appreciate how nice this looks? Look at that. That is crazy. Along the way, I found a ruin portal. So I used this as an opportunity to get some obsidian. 
but after walking around a lot and hitting some fish, it started snowing and I found nothing but quicksand here. I kept on pursuing through this weather and came across a jungle tribe out here. Bruh, I've literally been walking all night and now I find a village. This village had a cool jungle theme going on here, but of course, you know, I, I raided it and just got the food really. I declared this land as my own and basically formed my own government. I called it Amazed Topia. I explored through here and noticed this Fred Rika, Fred, I don't, I don't know, person was given out emeralds for saplings. And you know, yeah, I had to support the local business. Since I could chop down trees with like one swing, I just chopped as much as I could down and got as much emeralds as possible. I left the village parkouring around the swamp, just dodging alligators and used the map to navigate to the nearby islands in hopes of finding the gatekeeper. Along the journey, I found a cobblestone cave that I mined a bit, just getting some string. Turns out this place was infested with spiders just running at me, getting sturdy. So nope, I, I was gone. And I was led right to the portal dude's house. I skipped across the lake and went over to talk to this man. Yo, I am not trying to die, bro. Chill. I thought he was going to kill me there, but no, I just got the zeal lighter and looked around for the portal, which was sitting right in a shed. Totally not sketchy. You know, it's just, just a normal, better Minecraft day. All right, time to go in. Why, why do I feel like this is a mistake? This is probably a mistake. Dang it. This place was literally an alien planet and my homie ET was probably living here somewhere. The tools from the overworld also didn't work and this place had a very strange looking mobs. I got attacked by a giant fire beetle. As you can tell it was extremely slow but somehow kept killing me and while I was healing up a spider shot me with poison. Things were really not working out in my favor so I ran and found myself in a desert but there was no dessert there. Bruh why did I why did I write this in the script? This place had some cool crystal things everywhere and this camel guy would dude whatever was here too but on the other side was a giant watchtower i was getting the feeling that that was like final boss type stuff like bro there's purple foxes out here in the wild what the heck i ran back to the forest where the portal was and went back to the overworld where i got some normal sleep on day 16 i walked through the forest and made it back to the base because i was still kind of homeless not gonna lie unfortunately the zombie villager despawned but more more importantly, I needed a house. I got working on the framework with some wood and stripped logs. I just placed up and if it looked cool, kept it. Bro really wants to throw hands right now. Nope, bro. Why are the windows looking like eyes? I have no idea what I am doing right now. Day 20, here is the masterpiece. Okay, nothing, nothing too crazy. It just looks like a normal house. I'm not gonna lie, but it'll do. It'll have to do, <laughs> it'll have to do, bro. I had one thing left I wanted to add to this and that was a room full of port portals, yes. So I mined down and Turns out my house was built on top of an ancient burial ground, aka a massive cave. Bruh, built on a cave and next to some pillagers. We had some little axolotls in here. And this goblin just kept showing up to remind me how broke I am. And found the cold deep stone. I needed to craft the thing for the challenge. And this cave led to a giant lava pool. Literally massive. But I needed a way to get down, so I crafted a bucket. Went up the stream to get some water, and when I made my way down, I was swarmed. This place was just filled with mobs literally everywhere and I just went around lighting it up with torches. I really, I just almost died to that. Are you serious? Here's all the diamonds I found down here. These crystals sounded cool, so I just mined them too. For some reason, there was a chest down here with emeralds, and I was not complaining. And on my way out, I noticed this portal thing above the lava, so I couldn't not check it out. And it was nothing, bro. I just got, I got click baited. After a little bit more mining down here, I went back to the surface and put everything I got in a chest. I had all the materials for the light and dark chest, which was basically a portal straight to the deep dark where the warden man lives. So I crafted that thing and claimed the challenge in the blue book. I was given this skull metal detector and had absolutely no idea what I was going to do with it. All I needed now was just a diamond to go to the deep dark. So it was time to go. Nah. Turn 
Turns out I had to put this thing on bedrock, which reminded me I still had to make that portal room I had planned. So I spent the nights mining through a lake and digging tunnels for each dimension. Bruh, y'all do not just want to see me dig, so well, bam I dug the tunnel for the deep dark dimension and was ready to go to the dark. Okay, let's see what all this hype's about. Oh, wow, would you look at that? The deep dark is in a cabin. I used the metal detector skulk thing and realized I was surrounded by things out of a nightmare. I took like a step forward down here and was instantly attacked by whatever invisible thing lives down here. I was set to take down this warden, but I'll be honest, I, <laughs> I do not think that is happening in any way, shape, or form. And here is where I really messed up. Turns out in order to leave, I had to craft another teleporter out of here and I didn't have the materials for it. So now I was on a search for gold in the deep dark. I'm literally strip mining under the warden right now, bro. I found a little cave where I just took out these mobs and luckily there was the gold. Bro, I'm out. If that warden pops up, I am gone. I woke up from my fever dream, but I was way away from my base. Things were not going my way at all. This just made me realize I needed to get stronger. I needed to enchant my stuff before I could really take on stuff like that. But right now I needed to focus on getting back to my base. I had no idea where I was. Bro, these skeletons, these skeletons need to chill. Really Enderman, you're gonna do that to me. On day 21, I found one of those huts with the zombie and the villager in it. There was a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple in the chest, so I did a good deed and cured this dude from his suffering. Since I was running forever, I ran out of food, but luckily I found some berries that basically saved me. I found another one of those temple things, so I climbed to the top of it and bought some more skeletons where I got a new map. And when I made my way down the other floors, they sent an entire army after me. So I just juked around him and jumped out the window where I spent the night in the forest. Psych, y'all think I'd really give up that easy? I do not run from a battle un unless it's the warden, I guess. So this meant war. Bruh. The chest here had iron and obsidian, some basic stuff really, I, I just left out of there. The next day, I found a house in the middle of nowhere and a person. Then made my way through a birch forest where I saw a cave. Yo, what have I just found? I crafted some diamond armor. Turns out I was in the catacombs. Would you look at that? There were a ton of zombies in here. All right, how much times does this goblin have to remind me that I'm broke? I gave the goblin 20 bucks to go away, got rid of some spawners, and looted around here, just getting a ton of enchants. I said hello to a zombie, then some more zombies, and then an entire army of them. The army of zombies were getting annoying, so I decided to leave where I became friends with this man here. I ventured on through the forests and the lands and made it to this purple tree area. Can we just appreciate how nice this looks? Just look at that right there. It was like I was walking in a dream world and then a blood moon had to come and just ruin the vibe. Luckily, there was a house nearby, so I broke in and walked around checking out this place. I found some chests with food and one with diamonds, and as you can tell, I was running low on hunger. I had some carrots and gold and decided to make a quick carrot farm and then turn this into golden carrots. But since there was a blood moon, I could not sleep. I didn't want to just sit around inside of a house, so I went exploring where I shortly made it into a smaller house fighting these. The next day, the blood moon set, but it was still raining and there were still mobs everywhere. I was getting chased down by some skeletons in the forest and jumped in the water for safety. I landed next to some cool looking coral and almost got struck by lightning. Better Minecraft does have its peaceful moments and when they come, you just gotta take advantage of it. I fought off more skeletons and more buildings and crafted an anvil here where I used the enchants I got from the catacombs to enchant the weapons and armor. I looted around in here before... I darted out of there and almost jumped, which if I did, I definitely would have died right there. I ran through the rain and healed up before running into more invisible dudes. The sun sets and now it was just me swimming across a lake to get to an island. But while I was swimming, I found some chests underwater that had two dragon eggs inside, along with some enchants. At the surface was a pirate ship where I spent the night terrorizing some pillagers. <laughs> and raiding their ship. The next day, I fought off the pillager army and looted the chests filled with gold weapons, diamonds, and gunpowder before heading over to the nearest island. Here, I found another one of those portal guys house and this place literally had nothing and nobody was there. A little farther away were some people living in a tent house, so I decided to say hello to them and said hello to some chests. I ate apples trying to figure out my life mission. I came to the decision I needed a boat to sail out in the world and just become a true 
true legend, I guess. Eventually, I arrived at the mountain, so I climbed it, and in the distance, I spotted a campfire. Since it was getting late, I made my way to it and slept for the night. I had a nice start to my morning, getting fried, then made it over to some lava where a forest fire started. Oh wow, oh would you look at that. Another building. Too bad I've already been here. I forgot I had this map and the X was extremely far, but I went for it anyway. I walked through the forest and found a small house that had some bookshelves at the bottom and a chest in the attic with diamonds. Okay, why were they just hiding like diamonds in their attic? Like bruh. As I walked, I got the feeling war was around the corner and that it was. There was only one option here and that was to attack. I, I got damaged that they had spiked armor and I basically almost died. The loot here was pretty trash, and honestly, this place was only useful for just getting rid of what I didn't need and going to sleep. I had a great start to my morning by getting shot at and poisoned, trying to find the way into this house. The skeletons tried robbing the evoker, so I did what I had to do and left following a map I found on a chest there, taking me to this blue thing. I didn't know what I was getting myself into and was expecting to find a small village, but instead I found this. Yeah, definitely not a small village. I needed to get stronger and this looked like a place I needed to be. There is literally no better time to start than now, so I broke the wall down right away and, and all that came out was a zombie but moments after these red mobs came out from nowhere these things were fast strong basically everything that i wanted to be and when they die they threw a potion of weakness at me so on top of that like bruh why this was gonna be tough and i decided to explore through here first trying not to start any fights and after almost dying to a bear i entered the huts around here looting everything turns out this area was ruled by these abominations i needed to destroy all the spawners around here if I was gonna loot anything. They were everywhere and dropped Nasio when they died. I found a diamond sword with unbreaking in a chest, but what I had now was better. But then the army decided to just pull up. Bruh, I, uh, I'm out. Nope. I had to eat a golden apple and fought off this cow army. Okay, this place is officially creeping me out now. The next day, I fought off so much of these cow things. I destroyed their spawners and found some enchants and diamond tools. I decided to use one of the enchants on my boots and combined enchants with my sword. I thought maybe I'd be strong enough to fight that red thing now. So I broke back into the building where right away I was met with every creature you can think of. And a creeper almost ended my career. I couldn't reach the spawner and didn't want to die, so I decided to pillar up to the top and go from top to bottom. The loot was a little better up here, and I entered into the tower. This place looked like a maze, and out of nowhere, I had to fight one of the crazy mobs which I took out. My confidence was up and after that I thought I'd be good up here, but no. I was chased down and tried escaping from this one and they started spawning all around me. They led me to a dead end and my only option was to jump. Yo, that was way too close. Somehow I lived and that made me realize I needed to be way more careful or I would be dead. I came up with a strategy. Golden apples. Basically, yeah, just, just golden apples, really. I made it back to the top and made sure nothing spawned right on top of me again. And the loot was kinda trash. I got mobbed by a lot of these things, but I got used to it pretty fast. I got some bookshelves and explored this new dungeon area. The loot was getting better and I used an enchant on my axe. I spent the rest of the day raiding every corner of this place. And on the next day, I found this cool bridge thing that I wanted to go on, but first I had to face this. Okay, what have I got myself into? Not good, this is not good. I stumbled into an army and by some miracle I lived, y'all better subscribe. After a lot of falling, I made it to the bridge and on the other side, it looked like some luxury hotel room really. And whoever was here was definitely rich, like bruh. I got a nice view of this area before leaving and something called a harvest moon was rising that apparently makes me farm better, something like that, I don't know. Since I was basically rich with all the gold, I wanted to make some golden apples. So I took that moon up on its offer and spent the night chopping down trees, but you know what? Not one tree had apples on it, literally. I took out my frustration on these dudes here, but yeah, that did not go well for me.
The next day, I was in denial and basically chopped down a whole forest, finding not one apple, but I did find this, a house on a hill. The evoker was doing some parkour over there, something, I don't know, and this place was huge and there were still some places I still had to see. I walked around this little village area to see if there was anything I missed and just chilled out taking a swim. Oh yeah, and I also tamed a dog on accident and now it follows me everywhere. There was a temple nearby that I got some iron from and we threw a party on the top floor and then i used the apples and gold i got to make some more of these on the next day i walked through a pumpkin patch on steroids and went on to follow the map and voyage towards home there were some chests underwater so i got absolutely nothing from them and it, yeah it was trash i then realized something i could travel a lot faster if i just raised the dragon i got now what i can't i can't just have the dragon escaping so i gotta place gates then another idea hit me. Apparently, if you craft these waypoint teleporter things, you can just travel anywhere you set them up. It was getting late, so I crafted a chest, placing everything in there, and on the next day, I went on a scavenger hunt for purple dye. Why? Because I needed it for this waypoint, and I, I could not find this anywhere for some reason. Until I did, and it was right in front of me. When I came back, the egg was now a dragon, and since I had a name tag, I was gonna give this dude a name. Something creative. World's strongest creature, that's the name. This thing is gonna be a legend. Okay, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't die because then this, this would just look bad. I crafted this cool purple stone thing, then got some stone bricks, ouch, and crafted the teleporter. You're really gonna interrupt this moment for me? Really, bro? Dragon, we are going to big places, you and me. This is only the beginning. I had to come up with a name for the waystone, and yeah, so creative, I know. Thank you, thank you. You know, what kind of a man only has one teleporter? Like, imagine not having two of these. I made another one, and then my dog got, uh, yeah. Karma? I don't know anymore, honestly. We got revenge and went to sleep. The dragon was slowly getting bigger, but it still needed some time before it was ready to take on the world. While I was waiting for that to happen, I went back to finish what I started, exterminating the last of these. Out of nowhere, something happened and Wolf was slain by a grizzly bear. You know, I only knew this dog for like a day, but I couldn't do nothing about it. So I fought the grizzly bear and won. I may have won the war, but I, I still didn't win the way. I charged into this building and held no mercy. I slowly made my way to the top, making my way up the ranks, getting some diamonds and enchants. I was on some random rooftop and these dudes were literally flying now so to be honest i was not about that that's where i drew the line i made my way back to the dragon the next day chopping down some apple trees as i go and yeah i, I was lost i lost the dragon and all i saw were endless trees and this temple thing totally uh didn't cause havoc there nope i basically walked around this place in a circle trying to find my way back and retrace my steps until eventually i found my way bro this this took way too long i thought i could just put a saddle on the dragon and we were home free, but nah. There was more steps to this. My first helmet broke somehow and I had to make another one. And then I made my way back down to the river because I needed to feed the dragon fish. And what the? Is someone gonna tell me why a whale is in the river right here? I ruined some fish dreams and made this dragon's dream come true. Or maybe, maybe it's worst nightmare. I don't know. We'll see. The dragon was free and it, it just chilled on the beach while I fell asleep. The next day, I said hello to some fish, and the dragon was one stage away before it could fly. I walked through the forest, getting stabbed by berries, and stumbled upon a mansion in the middle of nowhere, which is something I was honestly getting used to. Good or bad, I don't know. The dragon basically one-shotted everybody, and this place was pretty much empty. So we left over to this red area, and the dragon was now ready to fly. Three, two, one, a maze has lift off. I flew around throughout the night, just chilling after all this happened happened so far and stopped over at a village. Uh, what did I just walk into? I basically robbed this place, but you know, they're villagers. They're, they're okay with it. Then went back to exploring in the air. I'm not sure why, but I just kept stopping at villages raiding everything like man gets a dragon and just uses it to mess with villagers on the next day i stopped over at a ruined portal with trash loot and found a tribe of lemonade cows or sun i don't some flower cows fed them to the dragon but then we were spotted by some angry karens over here and i could have just like walked away but i decided to pay him a visit instead 
Ugh. Well, that was a productive visit. I headed off on the dragon like nothing happened, just venturing out looking for the chaos to get stronger and fight this dude. And chaos I found, disguised as a colorful forest. Right away, the pig cow things attacked me and almost killed me. Hey, what up guys? Just vibing out here. I looted this place, fought off these dudes. It was nighttime now, and I was in a dark forest, so boom. I almost blew up. This place was, it was not it. It really wasn't. None of these places were it, so you know where I went. I went to where it was it. Back to my house that was built on a pillager base, where I could finally get some sleep under a roof. The next morning, I placed a waypoint here so I could easily just teleport home instead of being thrown out in the middle of nowhere and placed all my items in a chest. I built an anvil and fixed up my axe, leggings, then got efficiency 4 on my pickaxe and repaired it. Remember how I said I wanted to build a portal room? Well, it was still unfinished after all this time so I went into the abyss and mined out this place. Not this dude again. He, he's just here to remind me how broke I am. I lit the first portal and still needed three. Bruh, he will not teleport away. It was done and all the portals were assembled. This place was just lacking some style, but I, it wasn't gonna get that just yet. Bruh, the dragon's head literally goes through the wall perfectly. I was kind of lacking an enchantment area, as you can see. I collected different types of wood for it and got to building it. Enchantment area is done, but I was only level 16, so enchanting wasn't gonna happen yet. This place was coming together more and more, slowly but surely. I built some stairs, so going up and down didn't take forever, then added some style to the portal room, and started building a giant square around the entrance to the portal area. I started my day getting trickshotted by a pillager and repaired my pickaxe, then added projectile protection to my armor because we were going to the nether. I needed blaze rods because I want to make a potion of weakness so I can cure a zombie villager and basically just get unlimited mending really. And there's this ender dragon guy I kind of got to fight. I made my way in and as you can tell, this place was a whole nother planet. Yo, what did I just walk into? Bro, rip that skeleton right there. I was overwhelmed to say the least and then this angry sandwich thing thought I was food. So I got out of there and ran to the scariest forest I've ever seen. I was sketched out because I heard a ghast near me but I couldn't find where it was so that was great. Great. and this led me to a dead end. But there was a problem. The blazes were nowhere in sight, and this place was, it's the nether, it's, it's huge. In better Minecraft, it's even bigger. Bruh, this is taking forever. I mind getting all the resources I could, but to be honest, I didn't know what half the things in here did. Then I found a temple. Bro, what is a temple doing out in the middle of a nether? I broke into here and luckily no piglins were attacking me. And since this was a temple, I was a little sketched out thinking that it was gonna blow up basically. And you know what happened? Yeah, exactly that. By some chance, the one thing I wanted from the chest literally did not fall into the lava, but everything else, yep, gone. I carried on through this haunted forest and ran into whatever these were. I thought I was for sure dead. I, I thought I was dead here. But the only thing that attacked me were these wannabe golems. Whenever I see these, this is what I do. Okay, I think I did something there. These smart dudes fell into their own trap, and I just kind of sat there watching this. I found that chest and accidentally broke it. It just had gold inside, really. And it was time to face my fear. Look at these massive golems. I was not sure if they attacked or what they did, so I just walked right up to it, and luckily, it was chill. Bro, this thing looks like it lifts the gym, literally. I picked a fight with these pigs, and they really wanted the smoke. Yo, that thing just dodged. What the heck, bro? ultra instinct out here. I found their house, or whatever you want to call this, and spotted a chest right there. Arrows, just a bunch of arrows really. I found some more chests around here, then got a ton of nether wart. So now I just needed the blaze rods and I was good. Simple, right? Yeah, just, just blaze rods. No, no, not simple at all. I spent so much time down here, too much time fighting whatever, whenever, mining over top lava, and had this goblin... The goblin, bro, it just keeps following me. And to make it worse, my pickaxe was almost broke. I had no diamonds, so I had to use an iron pick to try and get back to the nether portal, which was very far away. And on my way back to it, I took the wrong turn. I had no idea where I was, and this place was actually looking pretty cool. Like, look at that. Bro, what kind of sorcery are you? I'm so confused. 
Luckily, I stocked up on these golden apples. The sound of being under lava is basically like death. It's literally the it's death, bro. I swam over to something and made some more golden apples and got back to leaving this place. Yo, chill. Don't don't beat me up, bro. There was another building and I couldn't tell at this point if, if I was lucky or unlucky. So I just went in and got basic loot here. Fought some golems, then broke my ankles. This is all your fault. Three wither skeletons pulled up on me. So I did this. I continued on and made it to this crazy looking biome. Here, I didn't feel like I was gonna die at every turn. Green flames, like this is not the nether, what, what is this? After exploring across this place, I made it back to the portal, finally. I escaped this fever dream and still didn't have any blaze rods. I stored away all that I got and tried adding sharpness to my sword, but it didn't let me, so I just put it on my axe. Every time I walked by it, I couldn't help but notice the portal entrance still wasn't finished, so I worked on it, made some golden apples with all the gold I got. Today, me and the dragon went out on a voyage. I came across a village with a hole near it, which I followed down, and turns out this place was a mine. I explored around getting all the resources I could down here, and got some good loot from the chest before heading out. I was near a village and I needed a librarian at the base for enchants, but there was a problem. When I went into the mine and left the dragon, it kind of disappeared when I came back. This thing literally vanished, so I traced my steps back and everything and he was nowhere. The strongest creature was gone, so me and Alfonso here went on a journey on a boat across the whole river. Until later, we made it back to the base and the dragon was still not found. Alfonso was kind of homeless, so I fixed up an entrance for him, and then this threatened me. So we had a nice talk. I cleared out some space and built a dirt house. Alfonso was like a minimalist, as you can see, and basically just needed a bed to survive. I wanted to get a good mending trade, so I placed and broke the lectern until it was mending. Bruh, you think I'm gonna pay 24 emeralds for a book? No. So I was gonna turn him into a zombie, then cure it to bring down the price to one, but I needed to make a weakness potion and still didn't have blaze rods. So I repaired the pickaxe and you know where I went? I went back to that crazy planet we call the nether. I tried exploring the left side this time and turns out what I spent days looking for was literally right next to the portal the whole time. At this point, I, bro, I'm not even surprised. This is definitely something that would happen to me. I explored through here, then broke in, and this place looked like a biome within a building, like literally. Okay, never mind. This is a giant maze. I spotted where the chests were and tried making my way over to them without having these pigs attack me. And I found a diamond pickaxe with silk touch and a ton of arrows. Fought a ton of angry bacon dudes and got more gold than anyone should have. I mined through here and found myself in a whole like new village somehow where I just looked around for whatever I could find until I entered into this. Okay, what have I just walked into? What is this, bro? I felt like I was walking through some haunted house with something gonna pop up every corner. Then I saw this, a three-headed wither skeleton. Like what in the what planet did this thing come from? Literally, I kept my distance from it and still took it out and it ended up dropping some wither skulls. I fought more of these things and ran around here taking out their spawners cause bruh, I'm not dying today. And looting the chest. They had fire resistance potions everywhere, probably cause these blue blocks kept catching me on fire every second. And then finally a blaze showed up. But of course, it couldn't just be easy. These things blocked arrows, and I didn't want to find out how much damage they did up close, so I took them out like this. I took out as much of these as I could and found this chest with a ton of enchants under it. Why is this one purple? Bro, stop following me. I'm broke, bro. I'm sorry. Since I had blaze rods now, I left out of there, and on my way back to the portal, I stopped anywhere that looked like it could kill me and looted everything. Yo, why did they cage you up like that, man? I'm sorry for you. Yo, Thanos, what's going on, bruh? I left the nether and added some netherrack around the portal, then stored away everything I got. And I had a good bit of enchants I stored up so far. I crafted the diamond pants and a helmet and went over to enchant something, but these things were in the way. I added projectile protection and mending to the chest plate and made some books cooler. Yeah, remember that villager Alfonso? Uh, I completely forgot about him and just realized the whole point of almost dying in the nether was to make weakness potions. So that's what I got to making. Bro, I literally will take over your village. You do not, you do not want these hands. Eventually a zombie pulled up, so 
kind of trapped Alfonso in there with it. Now I can cure the zombie, right? No. See, the one thing they don't tell you about better Minecraft is normal Minecraft biomes and items are a lot harder to find, like almost impossible, bro. And I needed a mushroom to finish the potion, just a single mushroom. And it literally took me the entire day to find this thing. And finally, it was time to cure the zombie, bruh. Somehow, even though this thing was named Alfonso, it despawned. All this pain was for nothing. I was not traveling across the whole map to get another villager. I was mad and went over to the pillager camp and vent my anger. And look what I found. Are you kidding me? Yo, this whole time, these pillagers had villagers locked up. Like, how did I not realize this? I went around curing these things and waited for the next day to take them over to the base where I chopped up a path and sailed through. I trapped it in the dirt prison house, I mean, totally. And since it was already cured, all I needed to do was get it to sell mending. And I finally got a bunch of mending and put that all on the tools I could afford. Yeah, look at that name so creative out here i found out you can have cool shields in this so i made an iron one and since i had all the gold in the world i just made a ton of golden apples not not that i'd ever need them for some crazy boss fight in the future I mean, totally not foreshadowing there i thought golden carrots would be a good thing to have so i made a carrot farm and you know the rest bam boom bada boom bop i spent the night getting these angry so i could get pearls for the ender dragon Bruh, I am, I am entertained by the strangest things. Okay, welcome back to the vlog. Today, guys, we're probably gonna die. Nah, actually, a miracle happened this day. Remember the world's strongest creature, that dragon that I had? Well, I do not know how this is possible, but I was walking and literally ran right into it. Okay, how are you here? What is this? This creature here must have gone off on his own side quest or something. He probably took out the ender dragon himself. I don't know. But I just accepted it and flew back to the base because I was not having this dude disappear again. It started snowing, which kind of reminded me of that ice place. And since I was already here, I decided to check it out. Okay, where in the world are we right now? This place looked like some mystic land and behind me was some wizard tower. Of course, my weapons didn't work here either. And then I was attacked by Spider-Man here. Why did a fairy just pop up from him? What the heck? Okay, so there's frozen spider men around here, and I needed to get items that were actually from this dimension before I could fight things in that tower. So I made a pickaxe, mine down, and found a cave. But the cave was home to a wolf bear on steroids, so I did what I had to do. Then I got to mining the ores around here, and I really had no idea if these ores were good or not. I smelted some of this and made some of that and found a green ore that I think was equivalent to a diamond in this dimension. So I made a pickaxe with it. Eventually, I left the caves as a new man and also got chased down by a bear. It was time to enter the tower and I couldn't break anything, but that didn't stop me. What stopped me was when I realized all of my enchanted weapons were gone just vanished somehow. I had no idea where they went and that's when I realized I accidentally placed the weapons on the crafting table and in better Minecraft, your items stay there even if you leave. So I went back to that crafting table hoping everything was there and didn't despawn and luckily they were. So back to the tower I went and explored up the stairs of it but was attacked by a dude with an ax. Then found this bookshelf maze room and was attacked by another one of them. This maze had an enchant and a dungeon key in it, which I guess I needed for the dungeon. Up the tower I went and fighting witches I was. Since I couldn't break anything, I tried to find a way into here, but it was completely locked down. And at the top was this spot where the dungeon keys went, but I did not have enough yet to start it. I was done with this place for now, but I was gonna come back here and take on this dungeon. It felt good to be back in the real world where I wasn't being attacked by some type of bear at every turn. I unloaded everything I got from that dimension. Yo, what is this dude doing down here? To match the theme a bit, I put the blocks from the Everbright dimension around the portal, and for some reason, I went to the nether. I, I'm not too sure what was going on in my head, really. I don't even know why I went there. I just got some blocks and left. Then I spent the night wandering the woods looking for Enderman, since I was still needing those eyes of Ender. <laughs> The next day, I was prepared to fight that dragon, so I threw an eye and went towards the direction. But off camera, something happened. Literally, right at the moment I wasn't recording, I accidentally hopped off my dragon in the water. And this dragon's can't swim, I did not know and it sank to the bottom. The world's strongest creature was gone. I made a little memorial for it and sat there with the seagull watching the sunset. Bruh, so sad. <laughs> All right, 
time to fight this ender dragon. I sailed off into the darkness until I found a village on a distant island where I was able to actually get some rest. The next day I said hello and got some wheat. Before we're heading off towards the stronghold, I spotted a well. I could play it safe and mine into it, or I could just jump off the cliff. So of course I jumped off the cliff and I landed in some fog stuff that apparently healed me. So I gave this place a five star rating and a roadrunner challenged me to a race. So I had the win. And then this army challenged me to a war. So I had to win. And then a killer mosquito thought it could kill me, which it almost did, but I survived. And then I found a big skeleton. Finally, after too many eyes of ender, I made it to the stronghold, but this was no ordinary stronghold. This was a better str- okay, <laughs> bruh. Nah, really, this place just looked like a giant maze with jump scares at every corner, basically. Good thing about this, though, is it had a ton of loot and armory rooms in here. Bro, dude, don't even get me started with this goblin, dude. I'm out of roast this man. After a lot of fighting later, I was starting to make some progress in here, or thought I was making progress. Uh, imagine I die in the stronghold. Like, imagine that. I found some good enchants from these chests, but I really just wanted to find the end portal at this point. I made some more eyes of ender with the ender pearls I found in this place, so now I had nine. And there it was. I made it to the end portal. Okay, time to take on this dragon, finally. Yeah, no. I needed three more Eyes of Ender. I thought the portal would come with some spawned in already, but nah, it didn't come with any. So back to the surface, I was finding every mob but Enderman. And the one I did find didn't even, it didn't drop anything. It was daytime now and actual tornadoes were after me. They had eyes and everything. Like, what even is this? I went to this house to take cover and unknowingly started a world war out here. I was just trying to get some water. Then the whole castle was basically after me and I had a bounty or something on my head. I did what I had to do. More waves kept coming in and I almost died to a swarm of mini creepers. So I got out of there and found one enderman that night. So I still needed two more per there was this village in the distance, so I got some good sleep over there. And on the morning of day 53, I came across a pit that literally just went down. So knowing me, of course, what, what do you think I did? I, I'd went down without any preparation. And it was a mistake. These dudes actually sh should have killed me. I, they were super strong. I kept running in the spawners and took out every one that I saw. I have no idea where I was or what I just walked into, but this place was some final boss material type stuff. I fixed up that armor and tried to come up with a plan. Hmm, I got nothing, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I just charged in there, fighting whatever came at me, which worked. And also didn't. I explored around here, trying not to die, and made it to this giant open area eventually that looked like if a stronghold was in the upside down, which had some decent loot in it. Yo, they are building up an army, I see. What the heck? About to release Ragnarok out here. I left before I got killed, and luckily while I was down there, I found some endermen, so I was able to craft three eyes of ender and slept in the village. I left back towards the stronghold, saying hello to these seals over here. How can you not say hello to them? I thought they'd eat fish, but apparently they didn't. They just sat there all day. And good thing I was heading in the complete opposite direction because it led me to a temple, but the loot was kind of trash. So I left, met these angry things, found more trash loot, and I made it back to the stronghold. Okay, just time, time to enter. This one's for the world's strongest creature right here. I shot the crossbow, got some hits on the dragon. I don't know if I was just weak or what, but it was taking forever to kill this thing. I got a ton of hits on it until eventually the dragon was down. I collected the egg it dropped, which I could then turn into another ender dragon, and to think that this is only the beginning. After beating the dragon, I spawned back into the desert village and needed to make a waypoint to get back home. So I spent the day gathering up the materials for it and luckily found an abandoned portal that had almost everything I needed and decided to place it at the end portal so I could easily just teleport here anytime I wanted. I teleported home and upgraded some armor and weapons with mending before storing everything away. I then just crafted a bow and put that infinity and flame enchant on it 
and realized I had nether wart but didn't have a farm yet. So I dug out the area and placed soul sand and nether wart there. Then this dude, so kind of him, just decided to give me some free leads here. Bro, I literally freed you and you were mad at me. What the heck? Next, I wanted to make an XP farm and to make one, I needed a lot of carpet, which meant I needed a lot of sheep. I still didn't have any animal farms yet, so I built out an area for him and placed some gates. Today I went out gathering animals for the farm. All right, we got cows, now we need sheep. And what the heck is this place? I found this cool underground tree thing and had a nice welcome in. After dealing with that, I mined around here and found an underground section to this. I just, I jumped down and stepped right into an army waiting for me. Explosions were everywhere and the skeletons were extremely annoying. Eventually, they just took each other out, and this place had chests everywhere on each side with loot that wasn't actually trash. I left this place looking again for sheep, and towards the end of the day, I actually found one and brought it back. Now, I had an animal farm, but didn't have a wheat farm to feed them. So I spent the night building out another dirt area and planted the seeds. The next morning, I found another sheep and got some wool, and the nether wart was looking good. I fixed up the farm a bit and added some water to it, and since it was winter, the water kept freezing and unfreezing, but regardless, it was still working. I fed the sheep and cows, then went out gathering everything else I needed for the XP farm. I figured things would be easier if I had more inventory, so I was set on crafting a backpack. I had to make this sewing stuff, and bro, I was not into the sewing, not gonna lie. And I went through this weird process with making a certain type of leather, but I needed five of these leathers, so I fed the animals, got some wood, and found out I had a bunch of unclaimed rewards from this magic book here. I got this totem that allows me to live if I fall off the void, so hopefully that'll never have to be used. Probably, that probably will one day. I started the next day with farming and feeding the sheep, getting wool. Today, I gathered more things I needed and crafted the backpack. So now I could basically hoard more things I didn't need and storm away into more chests. By now, I had everything I needed to make the XP farm, but I had an idea. I knew this thing would take a while to make, so I decided to start building a place for the dragons to hatch while I was gone. Honestly don't know what I was going for here, I'm not gonna lie, I think I was just trying to make it look intimidating with the red or something. I worked on building all night, expanding everything, and I also went mining to get some deep slate. The next day, this is how my morning was going. Why, bruh? Really? Today I made a gate and was about to place down the dragon egg, but realized it was snowing, and if I placed it in the snow, it'll just turn into an ice dragon and I, I wanted an actual ender dragon bro since i had all the resources for the xp farm that's what i started on and i went to the end The XP farm was done, and I got to level 52 before going back home to upgrade my items. Ya boy was not to broke anymore. I had some pretty decent stuff and went back and forth between leveling up and getting enchants, trying to get fortune on my pickaxe, and I was getting everything but that, literally. I was stacked, even though I didn't have it. The next day, I fed the cows, did some basic farming, and then remembered the dragon shrine wasn't finished. I gathered more deep slate, made the roof, added some gates. Now the ender dragon egg was ready. Okay, what should I name this thing? Even more creative, would you look at that one right there? I went to check on the villager, you know, and let's just say he was a little sick, so I cooked up some medicine and saved him basically, doing some good deeds out here. I was in the mood for a battle. I basically wanted to take on the warden, but first I had to fix this thing. I entered the deep dark and one-shotted all of these with a bow. Where is this warden? The warden in this, it looked a little different. <laughs> he, looked, he looked a little crazy, not gonna lie. And my bow, it did nothing to it. And this fight was crazy. Wow. J just wow. Would you look at that? That's great. The warden was no match. Absolutely no match for me. I outsmarted the warden, but I forgot when you leave the deep dark, it teleports you across the whole earth, basically. So I claimed my rewards and got a netherite ingot, then gave these bears a good cardio workout. And can we just appreciate how nice this looks? How was this even Minecraft? I walked till night arrived and found myself chilling at a random person's house in the forest. Today, I explored and found a village hidden in the leaves. They were training for a giant war coming up or something i they're all geared up i found an upgrade bench and realized i had netherite so i made a netherite sword my work here was done 
and I got all the materials for a waypoint and teleported back home. While I was gone, the ender dragon egg hatched, and the world's strongest creature of all was born. I needed fish to tame it, so I went fishing. Now it was time for an expedition. You ever heard of the conjure? Conjurer. Yeah, that he lives in a house out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, yeah, that's all. That's pretty much all I know about him. And I got to take him on. Ever seen an alligator eat an ender dragon? Neither have I until today. Today, me and dragon here, we're off looking for this biome that the conjure boss spawns in. Yo, why is this frog so wholesome though? Bro's life is literally crossy roads. As you can tell, I was very serious about this. Yo, back at the pumpkin village. Like me, they were broke. So I left them be and kept on exploring throughout the night. And by some luck, today we found the conjurer's lair. Really, it was just a lonely man's house on a hill with some pillagers inside. I ran in and met the pillagers with my bow. And as you can tell, they were they were enjoying it totally. Then I made it to this theater where I watched the conjurer perform by trying to kill me. He teleported me to the VIP section where I had free candy circles being thrown at me. I tried to go invisible here, but but as you can tell, that was not working well for him at all. And he forced me to kill some innocent rabbits. Like, what kind of magician kills the rabbits? This performance was not it. So I gave him a bad review and took his top hat because it was actually kind of fire. Really, you're gonna try and ruin my moment. Now, since the performance was over, I went around here looting this place and I found my first totem. Guys, I already had no fear of dying but this just means I can take even more unnecessary risks. I checked the rewards in the special book and got a fancy golden carrot, which I decided to keep just to look at. And now for the final act, I lit this place up. <laughs> Shoot. Well, sorry about that, man. The conjurer was down, and now I had to move on to what was next. Who was worthy to be handed an L? This island has had enough chaos for today. I flew around that night, taking in everything that just went down, and stopped over at this village to get some bread and wake up these villagers. The next day, I left off on the dragon to go home. I kind of had a crisis for a moment. The totem disappeared from my inventory, but little did I know there was another slot just for totems sitting in a specific section. I found this beach on the way home, and I was greeted by some nice fishermen. They basically just let me take all their fish, which I used to feed the dragon so so kind of them yo that is a big windmill so i found a giant farm area in the middle of who knows where and went to war with a thousand pillagers i was literally a spartan out here they were absolutely crushed by a single sword and i took everything i could from here a moon came up saying it was gonna help me, but I was definitely good on food, so I didn't care about farming. After conquering everything, I left and right next to me was a biome looking like it was straight out of the back rooms. I kept on exploring through deserts and deserts like this and found the skeleton of something from Attack on Titan, literally. I thought I was gonna walk in here and this was gonna be some ancient burial ground, pet cemetery type stuff, but not. Nah, it was just a peaceful village down here. Why they were here, I had no idea, but this place was not it. They had cockroaches hanging around, they had cows hanging around, and they also had a sculpture of their face hanging around for whatever reason. I was getting bad vibes down here, like I was gonna be their dinner type vibes. So yeah, I was not sleeping in there and I flew away. There was a light in the distance, so I had a little bit of hope, but nah, I got a little closer and my hope instantly vanished. Turns out Thanos' son himself was chilling up here. I tried shooting him down with the bow, which worked a little, but then my dragon just decided to go off. And I did not realize how strong the world's strongest creature here actually was until the dragon started dying. So I left to regroup and came up with a plan. Nah, really, I just healed the dragon off. I did not come up with any plan. The next day, I had some uninvited visitors okay all gone they dropped a mask so i put it on as a disguise and infiltrated the base the idea was to get this man off his throne but yeah he caught on pretty quick to that and turns out he can also heal up so my plan was so far taking an l but i didn't give up i decided to eat an apple and just charge in and that did not work i stuck with the bow which was doing pretty good until the minions here decided to just revive him again i got rid of these little things and my archery was on another level Kill that. W's in the chat. 
the sun chief chef dude dropped a mask that let me summon these minions to my aid. So I went around getting as much masks as I could until I assembled the army. I collected the rewards for defeating the boss and got this little flame that apparently attracts villagers. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Today was actually a tragedy, not gonna lie. I was flying around, you know, like I usually do and saw some kangaroos, right? You know, I thought having a dragon, a kangaroo and the minions on my side would be cool. So I used a ton of carrots and tamed this kangaroo and just wandered around having a great time until I realized the dragon disappeared. Apparently, since I tamed the kangaroo, it made the dragon vanish somehow. I don't know. I spent the day searching for this dragon and it was gone. All the dragons just end up disappearing on me. So I sailed off into the dark. I found a village where I was just ready to get some sleep at this point until I saw a desert temple and got tempted into it. Then I had the whole army of the undead just pull up on me like World War Z out here. So I was not about that. And I ran to the forest and slept by some water all alone. I saw this ship out there in the water and decided to say hello to him. Got some gold, but other than that, there was nothing here and I was just ready to go back home. I spent the day getting the materials I needed to craft a waystone, and by the end of the day, I eventually was able to teleport back. When I made it back, I tried using the fire villager thing, but I had no idea if it was working. And I used the gold I had left over to make some golden apples. The next day, a creeper just walked right in and blew up my house. So now I had to fix this and teleported to the end. Why the end? I wanted an elytra, and the end in better Minecraft was insane. Dude, I am literally in another planet right now. This is, this is not Minecraft. As you can tell, I was easily entertained by this place. It's day 71, and I feel like I'm still at the tip of the iceberg. I found an enchantment room out in the middle of nowhere here. I explored through this new world and came across a broken ship or something. I had no idea what this thing was, but it didn't have much, and I continued exploring through all the different types of biomes throughout here. Where in the world am I right now? I found a spot to mine, so I went in, found some diamonds, and found a shovel better than the one I had. I ended up finding just what I needed, an end city map. This would lead me right to what I was looking for, but I still had some ways to travel. I traveled across various islands and whole different planets. Like, look at this, what, what even is this? Then I found the city, the place where dreams are made and dreams are crushed. The shulkers were really annoying, to say the least. Every time I got rid of one, it felt like two more appeared on me. The loot here was actually good though, and I got a ton of enchants and resources from these towers, and also picked up a shulker box along the way. And there it was, so I made my way over to the end ship and fell right off. Sadly, I used up the one totem I had and didn't realize that shulkers were actually this annoying. I made it back in the ship, killed off these stupid things, picked up all the diamonds I could, found an ender chest, grabbed some potions, and there I finally got the elytra. My mission was successful, so I left this cursed city and went back to my house where I looked over everything I got. I had too much things I wanted to do and not enough levels to do it. Bruh, you are not it. I placed a dragon head on my house to represent the dragon that was lost. I wanted to become stronger, but needed more XP, so I visited some old friends in the end. Smart me forgot to sleep before I went here, and I spawned back in the middle of no man's land. So I made another waypoint thing and made it back. I enchanted this pickaxe with fortune 4 and combined my two shovels. I tested out this pickaxe by placing some leftover ores I had and mining them, and this thing was OP. Pickaxe on steroids, literally. Now, since I had the power, I was confident to take on the new dimensions. I went through the portal and made it to the Tower of Death. Weapons here do more damage than what weapons from the overworld, so this was gonna be an uphill battle, and I needed another key to start the dungeon. There was another building in the distance, so I explored through here and got the final key, and almost died to a witch. You do not want the smoke. I put on a chest plate from here, fought a ghost, and the dungeon began. I was put in a room with this summoner guy. Should be easy, right? Yeah, no. My netherite sword did absolutely nothing to this man. I was taking L after L, and on top of that, I was trapped in this room. Golem things were on me and lightning was on me, so I was clearly losing. I got some hits on him with my axe, but he dodged out of everything and I almost died. That's when I decided to try an ender 
ender pearl out of here and which luckily worked because i would have been dead without that but i may have lost the battle but the war wasn't over so i left home to regroup and cooked up some food and the new dragon was hatched so i gave it the greatest name of all this one is not going down there's no way i went to the ever dawn dimension and these angry beetles really liked me and using a netherite sword was basically like fighting with a wooden pickaxe here so i mined down and made some tools from this place i explored around and couldn't tell which dimension of the two were better but this one had like creatures like this and nah it was, that was whack it was not it i entered into the death tower of this dimension said hello to a cat and stole a dungeon key i speed ran this tower and was prepared to take on the dungeon i had the fight the alchemist this thing was annoying like the other one but i wasn't gonna lose this time I defeated it and got some weird purple ball, a scroll that does this, and a trophy. My work here was done, so I left and teleported away from this dimension. I made it home and placed down the trophy to show our victory, and the next thing I needed were more rockets. I already had gunpowder from raiding like every ship I saw and just needed paper. To get that, I went to the nether to get weeping binds. From there, I got bone meal and created a tunnel straight down. I used the bone meal and this made the weeping binds massive which i collected and turned into paper so now just like that i was stacked on rockets and i turned the potions of healing into splash potions then did some farming and fed the animals before going back to the end why why, why am i doing all this bro to take on that void worm which i'm gonna need some good armor for there's the specific ore in the end that you need to craft crystallite armor one of the best in the game and this ore only spawned in end cities so i went from end city to end city to get it i was looking around and literally found the back rooms of the end like what the heck is this place it's like a prison in the middle of nowhere bro why is there an actual bomb in the chest i explored through the various crazy looking places throughout the end like what is this? This place looks crazy. I gathered all the terminite I needed. Now it was time to get amber ore. This was at the bottom of the amber forest biome and was super annoying to get because they literally just kept falling into the void, really. But eventually I managed to get enough of them. Now I needed crystal shards, which only spawn in certain bio- yep, there it is. But now there was one problem. I was extremely far away and I had no idea where I was. So yeah, finding a teleporter would be clutch right about now. But this place was huge. I searched across the end everywhere, placed some crystals here, hoping this portal would magically open, but it didn't. And spent the days flying and looking around until eventually I found a way out of this prison. I got some quick XP over at the XP farm before leaving back home. I crafted a full set of terminite armor, an amber gem, then an infusion pedestal. That's a whole lot of big words that I will never use again. Also, the dragon was now fully grown, so that was good. I built out an area for where the altar would be and placed all the pedestals, but uh, I was kind of confused on how to use this thing. I did some small brain stuff and thought I had to activate it with an end crystal somehow. So back to the end, I went for no reason, grabbed a crystal and made an eternal crystal, which looked and sounded cool but it had nothing to do with what i was doing but then i used two plus two mc square math and finally got it working where i got a full set of crystallite armor okay the armor the armor is strong but it is not it look at the, look at this armor bro i got some mending books from the villager and enchanted my armor with what i had i made some bookshelves went back to the xp farm and built an enchantment room right next to it so i could make enchants faster and slowly built up a huge collection of them i I wasn't gonna use half of these but now my armor was literally like gonna take on the whole world basically and still be chilling i was ready to fight the void worm but then i researched how to summon it and i gotta do a whole lot of whack stuff you couldn't just walk up in the end and find it sitting under a rock somewhere i had to make a lot of things the first step i, I have to gather flies bruh i needed the stinger to a crimson fly and when flies are in the nether they evolve into one of those so i crafted a cage and built a box where I would place them 
there's one. I had some golden carrots, so I made these. Bro, why are flies this hard to find, literally? I went to the nether thinking I'd get lucky and just find a fly sitting there in the crimson forest. These things would not spawn at all, so I went back to just hunting down flies. Boom, two, three. I made my way back to the box and placed the flies in here before grabbing one and taking it to the nether. Bro, what are you doing? I mined out a square so it wouldn't fly away and let it go. Fly is evolving. Bruh, the fly fled, really. I made a box so this wouldn't happen and the fly flew away. I searched around for this thing, but it was nowhere. And so back to the overworld I went where I grabbed another one of these. <sighs> Bruh, the goblin, really? Bro, I don't want to talk right now. I waited for the fly to evolve and it did not drop anything. Back to the overworld. And would you look at that? I am almost out of rockets. Okay. Casually takes out a whole pirate crew just for gunpowder. I made some more rockets, but these would run out fast because I'd be flying around everywhere. So I went around searching for more ships. And today, this mod continues to just amaze me. Can someone explain what in the world that is? Somehow there was a giant palace in the middle of the desert and I walked in there. And when I walked in, there was just burgers chilling on the tables here. The first chest I found had items like this. Like, could you imagine if I had just stumbled across this 50 days earlier? I would have been set for life. Okay, never mind. I, I'd be dead. This place was ruled by whatever these things were. They all just ganged up on me. So I ran for my life up a tree. Not because they were strong, but I didn't want to be any near something looking like that. I looked around for their spawner, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I was forced to fight them all until I decided to just move on. Every chest here had something crazy in it. And I was just casually picking up netherite swords and finding enchants like this. I explored around some more, placing towards and destroying as much spawners as I could around here. And I had this strategy, I'd rocket away, then they'd all despawn, and then I'd just fly back in and destroy all the spawners in the area. Some big brain stuff. Yo, fire dragon egg. That is gonna be insane. I walked farther in here and it opened up to a cool forest area, but that place was filled with basically an army. So I was not hanging around there. I made my way along the outside and up the tower, looting everything I could before I fight this void worm. Also, I found this cool looking bird that gave me good luck or something. It kind of looked like Ho-Oh, it just flew around looking all majestic. Bruh, are you serious? I can't get a break around here. Every time I came across something new, I would get swarmed. Okay, check out how long it takes to kill one of these. Bruh, just casually finds enchanted netherite boots out here. I found a giant aquarium, so of course I explored through it, and of course the chest inside was insane. I lost track of time and had already spent days in this palace, so I crafted an ender chest and placed some of the loot I found inside of here before heading up to the top of the palace. I couldn't help but find like crazy loot along the way. It was just getting ridiculous at this point. I slept in a nearby village and left towards home the next day. I kind of forgot the whole point of this was to get flies so I stopped over at the jungle village. Okay, that'll do. I made it back home, set the flies free, and sorted out all the crazy loot I got into the chests. Okay, I'd say I'm definitely set on diamonds and netherite for a while. I picked up a fly, then turned the netherite scraps I had into ingots, and ended up with 13 of these things. I headed back off to the nether, but of course the mosquitoes didn't drop what I was looking for. I spent the entire day looking everywhere for these things, went back to the nether, and Finally, it dropped the stinger. About time, bro. This is, it's been taking forever. It's, it's a miracle. When I made it back to the base, I combined the stinger with a maggot, and that made this. And now I needed just one more item before I could take on the void worm. To get that, I needed to go to the Midlands in the end, but first, the new dragon needed a name. My first thought was this, but then I just changed it to Inferno because that was way cooler. Finding a random biome in the end is gonna be tough, but there was this thing called a nature's compass. I didn't even know I could craft this this whole time. And this basically just lets me search up any biome and it literally just shows me the coordinates right to it. So that made this search a whole lot easier. This Enderman was happy to see me. I traveled to the coordinates it showed and arrived in the Midlands. And I needed to find this 
Terminator looking bug thing. And after looking around for a bit, I found one at the edge of the map. And this thing was creepy. Look, look at that thing, bro. What am I looking at right now? I got what I needed and left out of there as soon as I could and spent the rest of the day just traveling to the teleporter. When I made it home, I sorted out my chests, preparing for battle and made room for some extra spaces in the dragon den. As you can tell, I was building a dragon army because why not? Why would you not build a dragon army? I made some golden carrots, then this dude, bruh, you serious right now? The next day, I needed to add some final touches before the boss fight, so I got some XP to repair my bow, added mending to this spiked shield, and depth strider to the boots. I revisited the XP farm to give my sword knockback three, and now it was time to go in and beat up that end worm. I placed the larva thing in here and, and got this creepy worm thing, which I just tossed into the void and boom. Uh, why is there nothing happening? The void worm was born, and this thing was huge. I shot it with my bow and was instantly launched in the air. Okay, that was not clutch at all. I got more hits with my bow, but it shot out these annoying green things every second. I missed its head and it literally split right into two. So I had to take out more of them. These, these golden apples are literally saving me right now. I was launched again and... Bruh, really. Eventually, after a couple more shots with the bow, I handed the angry worm an L. But after all that work, I noticed I didn't get any achievement from this book here. So I was the one that actually got handed the L in the end. I left the end and made my way back to the base. Tried, tried making my way back to the base. Bruh, why? And gathered up the dragons, cause today was day 100. Have you made it all the way to the end right here? You are, you are literally a legend. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop a like and subscribe, you know, if you want to see more crazy stuff. And comment where you want me to survive 100 days next. Peace out and God bless.